praise him, I praise God for what he has done. Oh, yes, I praise him for what he has done. Oh, I praise him.
Let's say praise the Lord, everyone. Turn to somebody near you and tell them it would not be the same without you. Find someone else and say it wouldn't be the same without you. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you that's here tonight. We have come to celebrate and to give God thanks for one of the landmark ministries of our church, the ministry of our choir. And as this morning we said that there are a number of them that have been singing on the choir for over 50 years, some 55 years. And tonight we have come, this entire day has been a day that we have honored uh, the Gibson Road Choir. I have a list here and it is my intention to call, I'm going to do my very best, to call every name on this list. There are close to 120 names of persons who have served on the Gibson Road Choir over the past 63 years. Some are singing in the choir in the sky, but some are yet with us. Some are uh, all over different parts of the world. But we're going to remember them tonight. And of course, how could we not also, while we're remembering those, honor the man and the woman of God who led this ministry for so many years? Can we stand and clap our hands for the Honorable Bishop Sidney Alexander Dunn and Mother Chloe Dunn? Let's honor them even in their absence tonight. Even in their absence tonight. We want to thank God for their labor. Bishop, Bishop would always say he was the best singer in the room. And this is a song that Bishop would sing. And we're going to sing it. The choir is preparing to come. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. And all that stood in comes from you. You're the heart's in many. You're the my contentment, hope for all I do. Sing it as a praise tonight. You're the center of Everybody sing one more time. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Sing it loud, everybody say all that's You're the heart of my contentment. You are the 
Everybody say, you are why I find pleasure in the simple things in life. You're the music in the meadows and the laughter in the children, the laughter. My family and my home For my God My everything Jesus You're the center I would march in we would all recite Psalms number one blessed be the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the ways of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law doth he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in this season his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. 
For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. The way of the ungodly shall perish. We're going to sing number one from the Pentecostal hymnal. How many people know it? One, number one. In the book of God so precious, we are taught a Pentecost. How the precious Lord's disciples tarried for the Holy Ghost. Pentecost can be. The fire is falling. Praise the Lord, it fell on me. Pentecost, the fire is falling. Brother, let it fall on me. Pentecost, the fire is falling. Praise the Lord, it fell on me. Pentecost, the fire is falling. Oh, Pentecost can be repeated. For the Lord is just the same Yesterday, today, forever Glory to His precious name Saints of God can be victorious Over sin and death and hell Have a full and free salvation And a blessed story tell When the cost of fire is falling Praise the Lord and fell on me Pentecostal fire is falling. Pentecostal, Pentecostal fire is falling. Clap your hands up. Pentecost can be repeated. Pentecost can be repeated. For the Lord is just the same. Yesterday, today, forever. Glory to his precious name. God be glorious. Over sin and death and hell. Have a full and free salvation. Clap your hands, everyone. Receive the choir. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I hope you have brought your tambourines. I hope you have worn your soft shoes tonight. Because we're going to give God praise for all that he has done, the choir.
Beltina Adams, Pat Anderson, Winfred Bailey, Kenneth Banton, Larklin Barnaby, Bishop Leslie Barnes, Mother Etta Barnes, Olive Barnett, Elizabeth Beckford, Mary Bell, Marie Bell, Elder Roy Bell, Vilma Benjamin, Brother Bircham, Sister Bircham, Frederick Black, Joyce Black, Lenora Blake, Muriel Blake, Uriah Bracken, Dorothy Braithwaite, Mavis Brown, Joyce Brown, Brother Brown, Charmaine Buddha, Anna Burke, Glenn Burke, Herman Burke, Alan Campbell, Bancroft Campbell, Dorcas Campbell, Heather Campbell, Myrtle Campbell. Any of these names sound familiar? Yes. Sonia Campbell, Venus Clark, Grace Clark, Brother Callum, Maudlene Dale, Mabel Davy, Michael Dawes, Ivy Donaldson, Chloe Dunn, Mother Chloe Dunn, First Lady and Mother of the Church and Choir Member, Brother Edwards, Sister Edwards, Beryl Edwards. Let's clap them, clap them and appreciate them for their service. I'm going to call on Brother Glenn Burke for two minutes to come and share his reflections upon the Gibson Road. for me really <laughs> but going back from way back in the 60s as a little boy growing up in this church Gibson Road Choir was always an anointed and inspiring choir and all the, the names we've listened to is because of the devoted and um, spirit for God it was for the saving of men's soul that even me from boy to man to grandfather can stand there tonight and we're giving God thanks, not just for those who've gone on, but those who are here, and we're hoping to have new members too, because one thing we know, as Bishop Dunn used to say, the choir is the engine of the church. And if we do not have a choir to sing, many times you say the preacher may be here, but then they need a choir to, they may be preaching, but then they need a song from the choir to give, inspire the soul. So tonight, Michael, Brother Michael, Dr. Michael and the choir, we're giving God thanks for you. You're looking so beautiful. We're giving God thanks for you. <laughs> it's an amalgamation of Gibson Road and TAA, that's the Alliance Choir. But in all things, we're giving God thanks because we are the Bethel Choir in Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. He's a wonder tonight. Jephthah Edwards. Eglantine Estridge. Leo Estridge. Brother Facey, who I understand was one of the first musicians here. Lena Fagan, Florence Farrell, Basil Forbes, Sister Francis, Errol Francis, Sister Francis again, Evangelist Francis, Ulet Fuller, Jessleen Fuller, Edna Fullerton, Ernest Fife, Ines Fife, Mary Gale, Dal Gordon, Josephine Gray, Norma Green, Cedric Griffin, Cora Griffin, Philman Grizzle, Delrita Hamilton, Cynthia Hamilton, Ruby Harriet, Herbert Harris, Ina Harris, Alan Harris, the whole Harris family, <laughs> Frida Harris, Louise Harris, Ruby Harris, Lloyd Henderson, Philippa Henderson, Hubert Henry, Inez Holliday, Elaine Jarrett, Myrtle Jarrett, Francis John, Minister Johnson, Nora Johnson. Uh, yes, again, one of the first musicians here, Elder DeWitt Jones, Leon Jones, Monica Jones, Gloria Jones, Halfie Leard, Beverly Lamont, clap your hands and give God praise. <laughs> I'm going to get myself in a little trouble because I'm going to call on some folks like Brother Glenn. We did not warn them, so I know I'm going to get myself in trouble. But for over 50 plus years, she has sat in the first chair. You already know who I'm talking about. Mother Lawrence not to be here, something must be wrong. And I'm going to invite her to come and just share her heart. God bless her. Appreciate her as she comes tonight. I know I'm in trouble. The mothers can do that. You see our mother just threw in some shade right there. Another, and we do. 
Let's give, let's just clap God and thank God for Mother Dorcas Campbell. We appreciate her. I'm gonna call another one of the originals, Mother Mavis Linton. Will you come? That's right, Elder Helper. Come on, beloved ones. 50 plus years. How many people remember when Mother Linton was the announcer here at number two Gibson? And she took her own, just like she took her time right now. Not even Bishop could tell her to stop. She just took her own sweet time. One more. She came over from the Young People's Choir and she's been singing it's part of the music many of this church for 50 plus years. Come, Sister Philippa. We appreciate you today. Praise 
Praise the Lord, everyone. I can't talk about the choir without talking about my conversion. Because when God saved me, he saved me really quick. And everything just escalated. One moment I wasn't a Christian. Next, not too long after I was saved, I was in the choir and I was a Sunday school secretary. So I'll tell you how I got there. <laughs> yes, uh, as soon as I turned 15 years old, I went up to the Woolworths and I bought one lipstick, one eyeshadow, and one and one um, nail varnish. And um, I put, when I put them on my dressing table, I couldn't find the courage to put them on. And then a few weeks later, there was a knock on the door, and it was my aunt, Sister Yura Johnson. She came to take me to church, take me to church. So I came to Gibson Hall with her, and that was um, June 1966. And um, I went to the altar, and it was Evangelist Davis, and she asked me if I wanted to be baptized. And I said, my mom's not here. I can't be baptized. My mom's not here. She said, well, it's not your mom, it's you. So I said, <laughs> so I said to her, that um, I said to myself, I, I thought from me, that I said to myself, you know what, I've heard a lot of things about Jesus. He's done a lot of good things. So it must be a good thing to baptize in his name. So I just went and got baptized. And to my surprise, God changed my life. I, I didn't expect it, you know. I used to meet um, three girls and walk with them to school, unsaved girls. And then when I went, saw them the next morning, I said, you know, I went to church last night and I got baptized at Bishop Dunn's church. But I said, you don't have to worry, I'll be all right. I'll be just the same. I'm not even going to change. I'll be all right. <laughs> so they let me walk to school with them. And when I got there, they said to me, we don't want you to play with us anymore because you're a Christian. <laughs> so I just, you know, I wasn't upset. I was, you know, I was satisfied with Jesus. So I wasn't Hallelujah. upset. I just walked away. And each day I just carried my Bible to school. I sit in a corner of the playground and read the Bible. And all they said to me was morning and hello, and that's it. Never spoke to me. It had nothing to do with me. But God has been good to me. You know, I thank God for bringing me thus far. You know, I remembered um, one day as a teenager when I was on the choir, because I was on the choir for 12 years. And then I moved to the senior choir because Bishop told me to go over. And I was... Yes, he came over there and he told a few of us, he said, go over to the senior choir. So I went over there. So I w I've been on the scene choir for 45 years. Wow. So, that makes 57 years altogether. Okay. So um, we were, they were doing some work down the church one day, and so I decided to come down with a few teenagers. And we sat down there, and the Stephen just came over and said, uh, we didn't come to work, we just came to chill and to see what was going on. <laughs> and the Stephen just came over there, and she said to me, uh, I want you four to come over here and pray. I want you to kneel down and pray over there. I want some of you to turn and some of you to pray. So I knelt down and I didn't know what to say. So I, I just said Jesus. And I, I don't think I said Jesus six times. I heard myself spoke in tongues. And I continued speaking in tongues and, until I found myself into another country. It wasn't England. It wasn't Jamaica. It was a heavenly country. And I saw... I saw the trees swaying in the breeze, and I could feel the breeze from that country. The breeze was so cool and so gentle. And I continued to hear myself speaking in tongues, and I spoke, and I spoke, and I spoke. And then I saw Jesus in the distance. And I was speaking and speaking and speaking, and then I found myself going over and getting closer and closer to Jesus. And, you know, just at that moment, the person who was in charge started shaking me up and it took a lot of shaking to get me around, believe it. I, was, I wasn't here. I wasn't on earth. I was away. I was gone. And it took, you know, like when you have an anesthetic and they're shaking it to get you around. And she was shaking me and shaking me. And when, when she shook me and I finally came around, she says, be quiet. You're filled already. You know, let somebody get filled. Else get filled. So... You know, I've got a lot of things to say, but, you know, I remember, and I remember when I, when, I, when I went back to school, you know, the second day when I, you know, when after the girls um, ignore me, exclude me from the games at school, I was going on one lunchtime from school, I was walking on my own, and one of them walked up to me and started fighting me, and I said to myself, I'm not even going to retaliate, I'm just going to let her beat me up and stand there and let her fight me, and then she, she said, oh, that's the way a Christian should be, and she walked away. <laughs> And then another day, I, was going, I came, just came out to the park gate, you know, I met another girl, another one, who's supposed to be my friend. And she grabbed me by my hair, had me pulling me around. Who told you to go and get baptized? Who told you to go to church? Who said you must go down there? And then she walked off and left me. 
So, you know, I'm just thanking God. God has kept me through the years from my youth until now. And I'm happy with Jesus. I'm satisfied with Jesus. This is the best life. A Christian life, serving God, is the best life to live. Pray for me in Jesus' name. What a blessing. Give God praise. I'm satisfied with Jesus. Satisfied with He said it be my cup. He said it be my cup. Ah. Jesus. I read out the yard to give the hope. Singing it. Oh, I'm satisfied with Jesus. I'm satisfied with He said it be my comfort. He said it be my God. I've been baptized in Jesus' name.
Martin, Melva Martin, Douglas McCoy, the sainted evangelist mother Lynette McCoy, Lucille McFarlane, Brother McFarlane, Charmaine McKenzie, Algernon McKenzie, Bishop Algernon McKenzie, Del McKenzie, Webley McKenzie, Sadie McKenzie, Inez McKenzie, Enid McNee, Sister McPherson, the wonderful sainted Mother Birdie Miller, 
Maureen Morris, Michael Morris, Margaret Moen, Alan Mullins, Boyd Mullins, Deborah Mullins, Mother Enid Murray, Elder Robert Murray, Sister Murray, Phyllis Neal. The church began in the home of Brother Neal, yes. Mother Neal. Yes. Pastor Elder Dudley Nicely, Mother Victoria Nicely, Carmel Nicole Susan Palmer, Brother Palmer, Jane Peters, Jennifer Peters, Etta Phipps, Elder Phipps. How many people remember Elder Phipps? Captain Trevor Powell, Hermine Powell, Elaine Powell, William Rawlings, George Richards. Clap them for their service. The choir.
tonight. The voice of holiness broadcast would be recorded here at number two Gibson Road. It's our anthem. The choir touched it, but I want everybody to stand on your feet. We're going to sing it in honor of the fathers, the mothers that have come before us. Called unto holiness, church. children of light called unto holiness children of walking with Jesus God's Holy Spirit Blessed secret to faith and now may God our own righteousness living and reigning and saving oh holiness unto the Lord is our watch holiness unto the Lord forget to sing the song that led us to win. As Mother Lawrence said, there have been a number of choir directors certainly remember those who have come before. Can we give God praise for Mother Whitten? As a young child coming here, Elder Austin Wright, who has gone home to be with the Lord, but certainly synonymous with this choir, is a young man that grew up in this church and rose through the ranks to become the director of the Gibson Road Choir. He is now living in somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. And I know if we had asked him to come, he would come, but he's usually here for convocation, so we didn't press him too much. But we're going to receive Captain Trevor Powell by video. By video. We're not 
ready yet? Okay. He's getting on the plane to come. He's not here yet. He's not here yet. But let us give God praise for, you know, a choir can sing a cappella, but there is, there is need for music. There is need for the minstrel. And we're blessed to have, of course, uh, Sister Paulette has gone home to be with the Lord. But between Sister Paulette and Brother Fitzroy Johnson. And I'm going to ask, while we're waiting for Captain Powell to get on the plane, I'm going to ask Brother Fitzroy just to play something. Just to play something. Whatever the Lord laid on your heart. Give God praise for Brother Fitzroy Johnson. I think we have the video ready at this time. on YouTube most Sundays and I do enjoy the singing. Hey, greetings, Gibson Rodians. I am so happy to be part of your quiet celebration. I watch the services on YouTube most Sundays and I do enjoy the singing. I must pay tribute to our late organist, Paulette Lovelace Witten, who was transitioned to glory. She and I worked together as a team in the choir ministry for many years. I'd like to remind you that we brought the song, Stay Away to Heaven, to the apostolic churches throughout the world. I recall when we practiced the song the Saturday night, I thought after only one practice, it was ready for the Sunday. The choir sang it this Sunday morning, it was a blessing to the church services. Not only on that occasion, but every time it is sung, 
or souls are blessed by it. I am happy that you have kept alive those old songs which have blessed our souls even until this day. You still remember to render anthems. Yes, there are new songs out there, but and also new singers out there, but do not forsake the old songs because they have blessed our souls in the past. Keep singing for Jesus because it's only what you do for Christ we lost. God bless you, choir, and keep up the good work. Your former choir director, Trevor Power. Iona Robinson, Gladys Rose, Neville Rose, Brother Ross, Sister Ross, Carol Rowe, Brother Russell, Phyllis Russell, Enid Sion, Monica Shaw, Eunice Spence, Genevieve Spence, Lloyd Taylor, Bishop George Taylor, Joe Taylor, Mother Gloria Taylor, Bernice Taylor, Sylvester Taylor, Brother Thompson, I think that might be Bishop Ira D. Thompson, Mother Phyllis Thompson, Mother Phyllis Tony, Sybil Walker, Gladys Walker, Justina Walker, the Deacon Raphael, Raphael Walker, Clarice Walker, Leon Waldron, Mother Phyllis Waldron, the Sylvia Waldron, Mother Walters, uh, Elder Carlton Walters, Sister Mabel Walters, Joycelyn Witten, Mother Mahalia Witten, and of course our dear beloved Paulette Witten, Juliet Witten, Joseph Wilson, Mother Wilson, Elder Austin Wright, Mother Wright, Eileen Wright, Sister Pat Wright, Minister York and Sister York. Give God praise for them. We salute them tonight. Is there anybody in the congregation that used to sing on the Gibson Road Choir? Or Yes, please stand. Please stand. If you ever sang on the Gibson Road Choir. If you ever sang on the Gibson Road Choir. Please stand at this time. Yes, Sister Gracie. Yes, come on, clap them. Clap them. Look at Mother Victoria nicely over here. God bless you all. We appreciate you and we thank God for you. The choir is coming. Amen. The Lord is walking with me. And then after that, we will prepare to receive an offering. And then we will have a special dedication to our dearly departed Sister Pauline.
we're going to prepare to receive an offering at this time. The ushers are going to come, and we ask that you be a blessing. The Lord has been good to us. We're almost coming to the close of this service tonight, the service of dedication and appreciation for those who serve in the music ministry here at our church. And we want you tonight, this morning we honored them, uh, gave them their flowers while they could smell them and awarded them certificates of honor and appreciation because we know what they have done. Please, let's be liberal tonight. We're blessed to have Bishop Lance Dindle with us tonight. Yeah. Pastor Don Lawrence, it's good to see you. Mother Skyers is here with us. Yeah. Amen. I see Pastor uh, Daly, and dear wife, God bless you. All of the ministers, elders, pastors, leaders, God bless you. Each and every one, look at somebody and say, and you too. Everybody is somebody in the house of the Lord. And so tonight, we just want to be, it, it feels good in here tonight. We thank God for the fellowship and for the coming together. Amen of God's people. Let's stand for the blessing of the offering. The choir will lead us in a medley. I hope they sing my song. If they don't sing my song, I'm going to have to sing it. But they don't have to ask me what my song is. Amen. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be a blessing. We pray now, thou, as we stretch our hand to give, you would bless both gift and giver, seed and sower. We ask this done in Jesus' name. Amen. Let every grateful heart say amen. amen. You may be seated. The ushers will come and serve you. Sister Carmel with Come 
shouting on the hills of glory.
Musicians, help them. All right, choir number one, God bless you. Choir number two, are you ready? Are you ready? Quiet number two, go, never.
thing we're going to do. Ba, 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 God is amazing and we're grateful. We're grateful for all that the Lord has done. Let me thank each and every one of you for coming, sharing in this service tonight, the service of thanksgiving and celebration. And for a choir that has been faithful, consistent, anointed down through the years. We have been in services and when the choir is saying it just shifts the atmosphere. And we thank God for each and every one of them. Those that have served so faithfully and so long. Last week, Saturday morning, early in the morning, we were woken to the news of the translation to glory of our dear sister, a woman that impacted the music ministry of this church. She was instrumental in the sound that emanated from this sanctuary, a sound that went around the world. Throughout the world, the musicians wanted to emulate, wanted to sound like the sound that would come through the anointed ministry, music ministry of Sister Paulette. And tonight we will never allow her memory to go to the ground. We will forever be reminded of her love for us and her love for the church. I said on Sunday that you never had to look for Paulette. She was always at her post. She came prepared and... We thank God for her. And special dedication tonight, the choir is going to sing a song that we will dedicate in our honor. We presented um, her sister, Sister Carmel, with a posthumous award this morning, and um, we will...
come and when we are here of the time for because we're going to have a homegoing celebration for Sister Paulette and, and we're going to come and whenever we know we will let you know so that we can come. going thank you everyone just tell somebody thank you for coming tonight thank you for coming I see so many faces there. I see London I see Ipswich Bristol Manchester who else is here Firstborn is here. God bless you. Thank you. Triumphant is in the house. We thank God for you. If you know it, you can join the choir. We're going to sing this in memory and in dedication to Sister Paulette.
I'm gonna be caught up to me, Jesus. I wanna be ready. Do you wanna be ready when Jesus comes? No one can see my Savior for myself. No one, no one else can give a count for me when He. Can we just give God praise one more time? And 
and we are grateful to God. The Gibson Road Choir through the ages. A night of inspirational melodies. Have you been blessed tonight? Come on, have you been blessed tonight? We have many that join us online. And I want to give God thanks. The reason why people are able to watch, thank God for our tech team. I want you to clap them. Our camera team, our video production team, the musicians, everyone. We appreciate you all for your service and we thank the Lord. How many people know that he's coming soon? So we're going to be ready to meet him. Is that right? Someday, someday, I will be called, caught up to me. Let's stand on our feet tonight. Peace, joy, and happiness. close this service tonight without inviting somebody to come to this altar. In this atmosphere of praise and worship, there is no telling what God can and will do. So if you're here tonight and you're not saved, you do not know the Lord, who to know is life eternal. I'm going to give you an opportunity if you're here and you want somebody to pray with you. If you want somebody to stand. You will not stand at this altar alone. You will not kneel at this altar alone. Somebody will meet you here. If you need God to do something for you. I want you to make your way to this altar. Come move. Seize this moment. God bless you, man. Somebody else come. Somebody else can. Somebody else. Come on down the aisles. Find the nearest aisle. We'll wait for you tonight. God bless you, young man. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Peace, love, joy, and happiness. You're sick in your body. You need, you need a miracle touch. You need God to do something for you. This moment in this atmosphere, God can do exceedingly and abundantly. Anybody? God bless you. God bless you. Someone else. Someone else. We've got a few moments. We have preached through the singing tonight. We have spoken the word. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Peace. God bless you, my sister. Come. 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 Come on, that's right. Come on, Tim, come on. Come on, just walk this way, just walk this way. Just walk this way. Bishop, I need help, I'm struggling. I need, I need the Lord to intervene in my life. I need God to open up a door. I need him to make a way. The door opener is here. I want to be baptized in Jesus name say I've been baptized but I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit you can come right now 
You can come peace love We're gonna wait on you Is there anybody else? Just one, two, soon and very soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon we are going. Hallelujah. We are going. Soon and very soon. Soon there is healing here tonight. There is deliverance here tonight. Yokes can be destroyed. Hallelujah. No more dying there. We're going to see the king. Oh, no more dying there. No more. Soon and very soon We are going Soon and very soon That's right, it's not too late it's Never too late No more dying there we are going to see the king. No more. No more. Singing glory, hallelujah. We are going. No more crying there. We're going to see the king. There won't be any more crying there. Singing glory, hallelujah. One more time, we're going. Oh, said soon that we're going to see the king. Oh, soon. Glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Tomorrow, if the Lord delays his coming, the 20 South Camp Road, the Bethel churches in Jamaica and the West Indies will convene there. 56th International Holy Convocation and we want to pray for a blessing, amen I covered your prayers as I would travel tomorrow to be with Bishop Brown and the saints we're looking and believe God for a miracle amen, look at your neighbor and say the Lord is on your side prophesy and speak over their life said you don't need to worry you don't need to worry, you can leave this building tonight knowing that the Lord is on your side. I'm going to invite Bishop Lance Dino, District Bishop of Bethel, District 7 to come and to close this service. It's been wonderful, it's been awesome. Choir, God bless you. Let's give God praise for the choir tonight. The musicians, Dr. Dawes, Brother Glenn, 
everybody that served, our ushers who have served tonight. God bless you. God bless you, let us bow our heads. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the multiple blessings. The blessings, the blessings we've received tonight. We thank you for the choir. We thank you for the memories. We thank you for the anointing, which destroys every yoke. And so, Lord Jesus, we're about to depart one from the other. I pray, God, you'll guide us safely to our homes. Guide us safely as we go from here. We thank you for giving us a resurrection praise tonight. We thank you for the yokes that have been destroyed. We thank you for the victory in Jesus' name. And so, Lord God, we leave ourselves in your hands and put all our trust in you. But they that trust in God shall be like Mount Zion. Never be ashamed. We honor you. We praise you. We pray for our presiding bishop as he travels. We travel with him. Guide him safely. And we pray, God, for all your people everywhere. Your will be done in us, we pray, as we ever give you thanks and praise. And we give you glory forever. In Jesus' name. And let the people say amen. And now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bless you. Now, Gibson Road, please remember Sister Anna Berg's homegoing service will be here.